What's up, positive folks? It's the Flavor King, guys. Welcome back to Cooking with Flavor KL. Guys, today I got something for you guys. We're going to be cooking some lobster and shrimp mac and cheese. All right, here are the ingredients. We're going to have um, two cups of uh, elbow macaroni. We have some shrimp that's been peeled and deveined. We're going to chop those up. We have our lobster tails. With those lobster tails, we're gonna cut those tails off. We're gonna put the shells in our uh, water for our mac and cheese to give off that, uh, that, that lobster flavor. Here's our starting lineup, guys. We have our Kobe Jack, uh, Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. We have some Havarti cheese. And we have two white cheddar cheeses. We have a reserved and a um, vintage. Um, that's what we're gonna need for our, the basis of our mac and cheese. Okay, we're gonna have some black pepper, some Old Bay, your Cajun seasoning. And for our sauce, we're gonna have some heavy whipping cream, flour, butter, and um, some chopped up garlic. Okay, so let's get into the lobster. Before we get into the video, go to my page, like, share, and subscribe to these videos. Guys, this year I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Okay, we had to prep our lobster. Okay, it's been washed, so what we're gonna do is um, get down here, we're gonna cut the tail off. We're gonna use that for presentation, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna get our um, kitchen shears and we're gonna cut, cut down the back and um, open those lobster up. Okay, so once you got your kitchen shears, guys, we just cut down the uh, back of the lobster. Go ahead and open them up. And we'll take that meat out, okay? All right, so I'll show you how we do the rest of those. Put those shells in our water with the elbows to give us that nice lobster flavor to it. We already have our water on in the back. We've already put the uh, Cajun seasoning and the Old Bay in there. A little bit of garlic powder, onion powder. Because you got to remember, whatever flavor you got in the water, that's what's going to be your noodles. Okay, So make sure you season up those noodles well. We're gonna poach these in some butter. And then we'll make our roux. We're also gonna dice up some uh, shrimp. Let me show you some of the shrimp and then we'll get back to the lobster. So these are um, some medium sized shrimp. So we just cut them in half, but you can, it could be your preference. You, want, you can make it uh, chunky or you can Dice them up finer, but I'm just cutting them straight in half. Remember these shrimp have been peeled and deveined and um, they're ready. Get this one done, done with it. Okay guys, so look, like I said, we wanna get our lobster tail gonna um, slice it lengthwise and then we're gonna just cube up the lobster meat three four five pieces however big or small you want your um, chunks to be we're gonna mix some in our new in our cheese sauce but we're also gonna put some on the top of the um, mac and cheese and then smother it with that that great cheese line up that we have over there these um, tails are gonna be used as garnish we're gonna stick those on in our um, mac and cheese and then it's gonna bake. They're gonna turn that beautiful red color that we used to see in. And um, that's ready. We're gonna move over to the uh, stove to. All right, guys. We're gonna add our uh, mac and cheese. We have those uh, lobster shells in there. That's gonna be giving off all that lobster flavor to our noodles. Uh, we're gonna cook these per the package. I like mine to cook a little bit more. I'm gonna cook them probably about nine or ten minutes. But you can do it at your preference. But as you can see. I have the Obey in there, our Cajun in season. 
And um, you know, you just wanna stir those, make sure those noodles don't stick. We're not gonna add oil to it because we want that cheese and that, and that sauce to stick to the noodle, okay? Once we uh, get it out, we'll go ahead and um, give it a couple of pats of butter and um, stir it up then. Okay, so we want to dice up our uh, garlic, our garlic cloves. Make sure we dice them up pretty fine. You don't want big chunks of garlic in your um, in your mac and cheese. Okay, so. start working on our cream sauce, our, our cheese sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt about a stick and a half of butter. We're gonna let that melt and we'll add in our uh, chopped garlic, our heavy whipping cream, we'll whisk that up and start adding our cheese, our um, white wine to deglaze the bottom of the pan. And we get that sauce going. Okay, guys, our noodles are ready. We're gonna move these over to the uh, sink. Ooh, that's hot, ladies and gents. couple of tablespoons of butter in there and we'll mix that up. Those lobster shells did their jobs. Let me go ahead and take those out now. That's it till we uh, work on our cheese sauce. Okay guys, so we got our butter all melted down. We're gonna add in our garlic. What we're gonna do now, this will be, also be the area where you would add any onions or uh, shallots or any other veggie. But uh, my client, they don't, want, they don't want the onions, so we're gonna just go with the butter and the garlic, okay? Okay, so we had our garlic in there for about 90 seconds. It's releasing all this fragrance. Now we're gonna add our shrimp and our lobster to the party, okay? We got this cooking on a low heat. We, we don't we're just kind of poaching these in there. We're gonna add some into our um, macaroni. And we add a little seasoning. And this is a mix of um, the same seasonings. Uh, um, Cajun seasoning, uh, Old Bay, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper. And we're gonna just let those poach for a little while. We'll remove them from the heat and then we'll start to make our roux. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and take our, we had our uh, lobster and shrimp cooking for a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take that out with a slotted spoon. We wanna leave all that seafood infused butter and garlic in the pan. Now we're gonna start making our roux. Okay, so we're gonna now, so we put in a um, half a cup of um, all-purpose flour. We're gonna whisk that up. 
Let it cook down for a few minutes. And we're going to add our, um, some of our lobster and shrimp back to the party. Go in with um, half a cup of our white wine. You do glaze that bottom. Now, if you don't want to use the wine, you can use um, chicken stock or veggie stock, any kind of stock like that. But, um, and then we'll come in with our heavy whipping cream. You want to go about two, three cups of uh, heavy whipping cream. Now you can mix that, you can mix that, you can split it up, you can go two cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of whole milk, or you can go all heavy whipping cream or all half and half, whichever you like. Now, add a little bit more seasoning. We're gonna season this at every layer. Not a lot because we're seasoning it all the way through. So now we'll bring this to a boil and we'll start adding in our cheese. Um, while you were off, I forgot to add in the Velveeta cheese. So I um, sliced up a chunk of Velveeta cheese and I have that I'm gonna add to this mixture also. And remember, this is on a um, low heat. You don't wanna cook it, you just wanna have that heat it up and help that cheese melt. Okay guys, so now what we want to do is start adding in our cheeses. Putting in our Velveeta. And start off this cream sauce. It's on low. You don't want the um, cheese or, your, or your, your sauce to break. So have that sauce on a low, low heat. Okay? And the heat from the liquid will melt the cheese. We're gonna put part of our cheese in there now and then we're gonna top the macaroni with the other half of the cheese. Guys, as you can see, that cheese sauce is smooth and it's ready for our noodles, okay? So when you're getting ready for your noodles, you can put in, you can make, you can add as many noodles or as few as you like, or you can make it as thick or as um, loose as you like. Noodles in. Go ahead and add the rest. I like it a little bit more firm, so I'll add the rest of our noodles in. And we have our cheese reserved for um, when we put it on the top of our macaroni. gonna let that sauce get all up in that, in those noodles and those crevices and those holes so once we put it in the oven it's gonna be very good very good so what you have to do now is make sure you have your oven on 375 and we're gonna bake this for about 20 minutes I'm telling you. okay guys uh, um, I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and uh, put this um, noodle mixture in our pan and then we're going to go ahead and um, add our shrimp and lobster uh, meat on the top of that it's 
Just want to make sure we get it all over the place so we can have some type of seafood in every bite. Okay. Now we're going to add in our lobster tails. It's going to be great for the presentation. We're going to add our cheese in now. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of our um, seasoning back on the top. A little bit of seasoning on the top of that. Alrighty, guys, that's it. We're gonna put this in the oven for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, till it's golden brown, okay?